Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video today, I'll not only show you how to get the ghoul race in Blocks Fruits, but I will show you the best tips and tricks to get it super fast. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Like the video if you think ghoul is awesome. Let's get straight into the video. So, the first thing you will need is to be in the second C like I am right now. To get into the second C, you need to be level 700 and then do a quest for the Warden in the first C. And you'll be able to come here. After that, you will have to make sure you're at least level 1000 in order to get the Ghoul Race. Now that we have the base requirements down, let's get to the steps. The first step is to head over to the graveyard where the cursed ship is. The reason we need level 1000 is to be able to get inside the ship, otherwise it won't let you inside at all. If you do manage to get inside while under level 1000, it still won't work for you, so don't even bother until you are that level. From the main spawn in the second sea here, the ship is this direction. Here is the entrance to the cursed ship. Once you are inside the ship, you are going to have to do a little bit of grinding. There are four regular enemies here, and a raid boss that I will get to later in the video. The lowest level and easiest enemies here are the ship deckhands, who have no haki and are by far the best to grind ectoplasm at. You'll need to get a total of 100 ectoplasm to get the ghoul race. The ship deckhands are right over here. If you have a Buddha fruit, just go ahead and kill them for their ectoplasm. If you have a Logia or an elemental fruit, then you will get immunity against these little guys at level 1288. If you don't have Buddha or are just not immune to these guys, you will just have to try and not get hit too much while grinding for the 100 ectoplasm. Oh my goodness, it is very dark in here. As you can see, I just killed one of them and it's given me one ectoplasm. Really cool thing is the chests over here, there's one there, and if you go in the chest, there's a couple more. So one in the first room, one in the second room, one in the third room, and across the other side, there's one in the third room, one in the second room, and also one in the first room. So there's one gold chest in every single room here. Once you've gotten all 100 ectoplasm, you'll need to get an item called the Hellfire Torch. The Hellfire Torch is a rare drop from the raid boss, the Cursed Captain. He is the raid boss that I said I'd mention earlier in the video. From the entrance, if you go straight and then head up the stairs, then across, this is the room where the Cursed Captain spawns. He has a 1 in 3 chance of spawning every single night time. And you'll know this by at the top of your screen, it will say a shiver runs down your spine and it will also say it in the chat. You are going to want to kill him every single time that you see him. Well, once you have 100 ectoplasm, that is. Now, since the Hellfire Torch is not a guaranteed drop from the Cursed Captain, once you kill your first Cursed Captain and if you do not get the Hellfire Torch, I recommend going up to the top right, clicking on servers, and then once all the servers have loaded, you go find a new server and check if the Cursed Captain is spawned or if it's really close to becoming nighttime. If there are no Cursed Captains, then just go to another server and keep doing it. This method is much faster than just staying in one server to kill him again and again, as it takes a long time for him to spawn. Now, once you have 100 Ectoplasm and the Hellfire Torch, you should go find the NPC Experimic who is in the kitchen under this room where the cursed captain spawns. So you just head out down the staircase and then underneath you go into the kitchen and over here is the NPC. You interact with him and while you have the hellfire torch and the hundred ectoplasm, you click what and then he offers to give you the ghoul race. Well, I personally think that the ghoul race is really cool, but honestly, I prefer the shark. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you guys next time.